Hey everybody, welcome back. The topic of this video is going to be discussing difficult topics. So it's probably not what you're thinking. Um, this is probably going to be a little bit longer video because there's just a lot of information we need to cover. So I'm going to try and keep it as short as I can. But if you need to crack open a beer or pour a glass of whiskey or something, uh, sit back and relax, go for it. So what I'm talking about with difficult topics, uh, I'm sure all of you are aware that YouTube has their own terms of service. So they have their own policies and rules regarding uh, what type of content is allowed to be posted or not. And a lot of those policies are kind of open for interpretation. So essentially what it means is uh, if you post something in your video, if you say something that offends somebody, which is not difficult nowadays, uh, there's a chance that you're going to have somebody report you. And because those policies are kind of open to interpretation, there's a chance that even though you don't think you violated the rules, you had no intention of violating the rules, but through interpretation, one of those moderators might feel that you did violate the rules and you get a violation and you'll face certain consequences for that. With the whole global situation that's been going on for a while, uh, certain political discussions and debates and stuff, uh, political correctness, cancel culture, like all these different things going on, it's very difficult to not say something that you have to be afraid of you know, offending somebody. So we have to be very careful about what we say. And this is something I've been aware of uh, since I first started uploading onto this channel. I have to be very careful about what I say. That's why very early on I said that I do have my own opinions, obviously, about things with race, religion, sex, gender, you know, political alliances, whatever. I have my own opinions about it. But a lot of those things I simply can't discuss here on YouTube because it might offend somebody and I don't want my channel getting yanked because of it. Now, there are a lot of other YouTubers that are here in the Philippines. Uh, most of them that I have seen have bigger, more successful channels. They've been around a while. They've got thousands, tens of thousands, or even hundreds of thousands of subscribers. They're pulling in a lot of ad revenue because, you know, they're regularly posting videos. They're getting lots of you know, ad views. So a lot of those channels are pulling in a lot of money for YouTube. Now, if one of those channels says something that might offend somebody, they don't want to just remove a source of their income. Chances are those bigger channels, if one of the moderators sees something that's questionable, it might go back and forth between multiple moderators. And worst case scenario is they're probably just going to demonetize the video and give a warning out to the YouTube, you know, the channel owner. It's very difficult for one of these established channels to actually get banned. I mean, you have to go hardcore on breaking the rules, showing nudity, uh, violence, talking about some really bad stuff that really creates a shitstorm of complaints. On a smaller channel like this one, where I barely got over 100 subscribers, I've only got, you know, maybe a few dozen whatever videos. I'm not a big channel. I'm not able to get ad revenue yet, even though they are still making money off of it. But I'm at the point right now where I'm a nobody. I'm nothing. So if I post something and I get complaints, there's no debate about it. I'm not going to get warnings. It's just a up, oh, you're gone, and my channel's white. So, obviously, I'm not even close to the requirements for getting monetized. I'm not making money for any of this. I'm not posting videos as a side income. I'm doing this, I'm paying hundreds of dollars out of my own pocket to pay for cameras and microphones and tripods. I'm doing this as a hobby. I'm doing this as a way to provide information to you guys. This is not a, a source of income for me. So for a channel like mine, I get wiped out. I mean, that's just simply it. And anything I've invested in my equipment it kind of it gets lost. It's just wasted, essentially. The thing is, though, 
a lot of you guys have been sending me emails or personal comments uh, through YouTube talking about some of these things that I just I can't reply through my channel. I can't publicly post comments or replies on these questions because it might offend somebody else. Now, if you send me an email asking me a question and I'm giving you an honest, polite answer based on my own opinion, observations, whatever, if for whatever reason you take offense by my answer, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you, but I'm just giving you the you know, my views and what's the reality. You're not going to be able to file a complaint against me. It's email to email. If you don't like it, okay, fine. Don't send me any more emails. Block my email address so I can't send you anything else. And just go away. You know, you don't have to watch my fucking channel. There's nobody forcing you to do that. This has never happened, but I'm just saying that you know, these things that I'm able to make responses to through personal emails and stuff, it doesn't have to stay within the guidelines of the YouTube Terms of Service. So I can give more honest feedback. Thing is, when I have a lot of people asking the same questions, that's usually a good time for me to make a video about it where I can address those questions in a video for everybody to see so that if anybody else were to have that same question later, instead of me having to constantly answer the same damn thing in hundreds of emails, they can just watch the video about it. And I hate having to do this. I'm just, I've never really liked the idea, but it looks like with everything that's going on, this might be something I have to consider. And that is, how am I able to separate or externalize responses to these types of questions or discussions about these topics that avoids YouTube. I've been looking into it for, you know, the last over a year now. And what I have seen is that Patreon is one of those options that would be available. So if I were to create a Patreon page where people could like for a very minimal monthly subscription, whatever, it's like a dollar, two dollars or something, just so that they have access to this Patreon, they can go on there and that is where I would be able to post videos about topics that might not be aligned with YouTube. Also, from what I understand, Patreon has other factors that are there, like discussion boards and stuff like that. Uh, through Patreon, I can still do live streams at some point where we can have discussions, back and forth active discussions with the viewers, asking questions that the typical YouTube channels try to stay the hell away from. They just, they don't want to get their asses demonetized or closed down. I'm not talking about posting, you know, titty videos of the go-go bars. I'm talking about just normal discussions about moving and living here to the Philippines, living on a tight budget, and just other things that are discussed between, you know, expats and people that want to leave their country. So that's kind of what the purpose of this video is, is to kind of ask you guys like a survey, how many of you would be interested in seeing something like this get fired up? Uh, if I'm able to consistently do videos and have discussions and stuff like that on a Patreon where it's like $2 a month, to join up, but once you join up, you're able to watch all of these videos and there would be some kind of a discussion board or something where people can post comments and start different topics, uh, give new ideas for videos and stuff that I'm gonna do in addition. I would not be moving from YouTube to Patreon. I would still be doing all the stuff here on YouTube, but it's just videos that have to do with those questionable, possibly not politically correct topics, those would go on to the Patreon. So I'm trying to see just feedback from everybody. You know, is this something you think would be worth putting the time and effort into getting set up? Is this something that you might actually consider using? Now, just some examples, okay? A lot of people that are living in a Western country, you have a good life. Things are good over there. 
you might be having financial challenges, but overall you're living in a nice place to decide you're going to leave your home country, to leave your friends, your family, everything you know, and move to a foreign country, one that you have possibly never been to before, let alone lived here for any period of time, there's got to be good reasons why you would do that. Some of it might be personal issues. Some of it might be politically based issues. For example, right now in the U.S., there are a lot of different things, can't talk about here, there are things going on in the U.S. that a lot of people aren't happy with. They don't like the way that things are going, and it's part of those reasons they want to move somewhere else, like here, where they won't have to deal with that stuff. They can come here, try to relax, retire, whatever, even if it's just to come here to work, but you won't have to deal with that crap while you're here. There are things here that people need to be aware of because nowhere in the world is perfect. The Philippines isn't this magical paradise. There are some bad things here. There are things that foreigners are going to encounter problems. You are going to find challenges with adjusting to certain things here. Government, laws, the culture, the language, all kinds of different things that you might not be used to. Things that in your country or in your, your part of your community, these are things that are looked down upon, they're taboo or whatever, that are openly accepted and welcomed here. Things that a lot of, obviously, YouTube channels can't even talk about. And I don't want you guys to get that feeling that you've moved here and then it's like, what the fuck is going on? Nobody talked about this shit. If I would have known about this stuff before I came here, I would have been like, fuck that, I'm going to Thailand or something instead. That's the reality, is a lot of people get that opinion. They come here, they try to stiff it out as long as they can, and one year, two years, five years later, they're like, I'm done. I, I can't do this no more. This is not what I signed up for. I'm out. And they skip. Totally understandable because you're not able to provide this information to people. So they aren't going to know about it before they get here and they come here and they're like, nah, this isn't what I signed up for. Other times it might be things that it's not serious enough that you're like, I wouldn't have come here had I known about that. But I still would have liked to know about it so that I can prepare myself mentally, financially, physically, whatever. Because there are things that are issues here that if you had known about it, you could have been better prepared at least. And those are the kind of things that since you can't discuss it on YouTube, but if I had like a Patreon where I could post them there, you guys would have access to those videos to actually see the, I don't want to, I hate to have to use the term, but like the hidden truth. It's the, it's the, I'm not hiding it. You know, there are things here that it's not like I'm, oh, no, no, no that, that's not true. That's a, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not saying that that's not a problem. It doesn't exist. It's just I'm not allowed to acknowledge it. I can't talk about it. There are times where I will hint that there are things, but I can't talk about it here. Uh, but with something like a Patreon or something, I would be able to fully discuss all of that. So that is kind of the purpose of this video and the question is, does that sound like something that enough of you would be interested in doing? If it's only like one or two dollars a month, like a minimal fee where you, you sign up for it and it's like every month you pay for it. Obviously, I'll have to make a commitment so that, you know, something that maybe my uh, initial people in the survey, the comments that I'm going to be getting back, they can make recommendations, something I have to kind of like stick to, abide by, like rules I have to set. So... If I'm going to do this and try and get subscribers, I have to guarantee I'm putting out like at least one or two videos a week. Uh, I'm going to have a like forum posted where when people ask questions, I need to, you know, answer the questions. I can't just ignore it. Something like that. So people know that even though it's only one or two dollars a month, you know, you're not getting ripped off. You're getting something out of it. So you're not just going to go on there and find like five fucking videos posted and that's it. You, you just paid money for five videos. And after that, you are obviously free to cancel the membership, subscription, whatever it is, 
if you feel that I'm not sticking to those commitments, if I'm not putting out the kind of content you thought it would be, if you feel that that content is just, it's not what you th expected, it's not meeting your expectations, it's just not what you want, you can cancel it at any time and you're only out like one or two dollars. I'm not trying to use this as a scam. It's obviously not intended to be like a side income. You know, if, if I've got 20 people that sign up to this thing and it's two dollars a month, that's forty dollars a month that I'd be getting from doing all that stuff. I'm not getting anything at all from this part of the YouTube channel and this is where most of my videos are still going to be posted. But like if I'm doing that and I end up getting 20 people, forty dollars a month. All right, great. I'm going to have a kid soon. That, $40 could be used towards diapers and baby food and whatever else. So it's not like I'm going to be rolling in the money, getting rich, you know, hanging out and buying fucking beer and barbecue, right? It's not like I'm scamming or anything like that. But I can't do it for free. That's just not the way the system works. And part of the reason for doing this is to keep the public trolls out. So normally those people that would come into your YouTube channel just for the purpose of attacking you and leaving all these shitty comments, attacking your uh, other viewers and stuff like that, they're not going to go through the effort of having to sign up for a service that's a dollar or two dollars a month just so they can go in and troll you, get banned out of that service. Like People aren't going to do that. So by setting something like this up, even though it's a very minimal cost, it's still going to keep certain people from just going in there and abusing it, trolling others in a sense. There would still be moderation, you know, if, if you go in and you sign up and you are a member of this Patreon where you're free to leave comments and all that kind of stuff and you start shit talking people, short interruption because Vina just got home, so back where I was at. So really that is the whole breakdown of why I would be doing Patreon. Uh, Initially, just starting it off, it's just going to be a location where I can post videos that I'm not allowed to really do on YouTube. And over time, it might expand even farther. You know, as I learn the whole Patreon system and how all that kind of crap works, I might be able to do further things, um, you know, ad additional features or capabilities, uh, might be able to do live streams, uh, stuff like that just have to wait and see how all that stuff works, how my equipment is doing. But from what I can see right now, my video equipment, audio equipment, it's doing stable enough that I'll be able to continue doing videos for a while. And uh, at some point I'll try and somehow figure out a way to, to be able to get a replacement camera or something, I guess. But I'll figure it out when the time comes. So that really is what I'm trying to do for this whole video is to get a survey. Uh, if you guys are watching this, you know, men, women, uh, if you're one of my viewers that is thinking about coming over here, or even if you're not really sure you're going to come over here or not, you're just, you're really watching these videos for information. You're finding information useful and you want to continue watching videos and being a part of the discussions. If you are interested in finding out or asking questions about the things that we can't normally talk about here. I would like to get your feedback. Either leave a comment in the video or send me an email and just let me know. What are your thoughts? If you say, no, this is stupid. I don't want to have to pay money for this stuff. Figure out another way. Uh, if you've got recommendations for another option that wouldn't require Patreon, something like that, I definitely would appreciate those comments. Uh, if you think this is going to be a good idea, if you have any suggestions, maybe if you're somebody that's already familiar with Patreon and you are aware of other features that might be useful for this purpose, that would be great to let me know so that I kind of have a better idea of what my options are. But I'm just trying to do this so that I have an external outside of YouTube method to be able to have different discussions with you guys, be able to post videos on topics that normally wouldn't be approved through YouTube. And I don't mean things that necessarily explicitly violate YouTube's terms of service. Again, I'm talking about things where their policies are left intentionally open enough that they're open to wide interpretation. And at times, the individual moderator is the one that's able to make the final decision. If those moderators are in favor of the other person, the complainant's views, they're probably going to hit you with a violation, an infraction, whatever. 
there might be those instances, which is probably rare, where the YouTube moderator might be more inclined to be on your side and might just void out the complaint, but you don't want to risk it. Uh, one other thing I should also mention is living here in the Philippines. Now, a lot of the other YouTube channels, they never mention this or they seem oblivious to this fact. I'm not a lawyer, so this isn't full on legal advice. But what I'm saying is there are laws here in the Philippines that pretty much state if you are not a citizen, you're a nobody. You are not allowed to participate in any public discussions, debates, uh, protests, or anything like that on anything related to government. You are not allowed to speak negatively of the government, the president, government officials, uh, you know, civic employees, uh, things like that. Essentially, what they're saying is, as long as you're in this country and you are not a citizen, you have no rights. Shut the fuck up, sit down, keep quiet. If you say or do anything that might annoy us, we're going to skip your ass out. You will be deported and blacklisted. You know, they do have that capability and they have shown in the past that they have done it. I have actually seen the police reports and news reports of them deporting people and blacklisting them just because that person said something bad about the country on their YouTube channel. Even if it doesn't come to the point of deportation, still, if somebody sees something that they don't like and they report it to the Philippines government, the government can then request YouTube to pull that content. So I could end up having videos just totally wiped because the Philippine government asked them to because it goes against their laws, policies, whatever. This has happened before. I realized previewing the last video I did about my immigration troubles that I kind of, my stress levels started getting up there because I'm being reminded of all the bullshit I had to deal with. And I was not being... I was not talking about the Bureau of Immigration in a positive light, in a sense. I was talking shit about Bureau of Immigration because of the problems I had with them. I'm not talking about the agency as a whole and every individual employee there. There have been times where I have met very good employees. I have had very professional experiences there, but there are also just as many times where I've had negative issues. So my last video got kind of off the chart there. There is always the chance that if that video gets reported to somebody here, never know. Somebody in the government might complain about it and even get YouTube to pull that video. I really don't think it would go as far as them coming after me for immigration issues and trying to like deport my ass because I, I didn't say anything hardcore, but still. If I need to give honest feedback or whatever, about something with the government or the political situation here, things that actually do affect you as tourists and as people wanting to live here. Can't really do that on YouTube because you have to worry about those things. Now, is a government official going to pay money to sign up onto a Patreon just so they can vet your videos to see if you're saying something bad about them? Probably not. So. If I have something on one of those Patreon sites, really, I'm not saying that there's nothing they could do, but I just, I don't think they would go that far. Besides, it's not like I'm going to be posting some nasty stuff or, you know, anti-politics, uh, major chants like, you know, hey, let's go kill the president kind of thing. I'm not going to be doing some stupid shit like that. So it's not anything that's overly like going to get me in trouble or anything. It's just... Like the immigration video. I might talk shit about somebody and I'd rather do it out of the public. So, okay, uh, this video's been going on long enough. Uh, that's pretty much what I'm looking at. So if you think it's going to be a good idea, go ahead and let me know. Either comments in the video or send me an email. Uh, just let me know what you think. If I can get enough people that say, yeah, this is something I would sign up for. It's something that sounds good. I think it would be useful. Uh, okay. I'll go ahead and get everything set up. 
obviously I'm going to have to do several videos first so that the people that initially sign up for this thing, they're still going to get something out of it just in case something doesn't work. But also something I would like is if you guys do have questions that you've been wanting to ask, but you've been afraid to ask, or you didn't ask because you're pretty sure we're not going to give you those answers. Now is the time to send me emails with those questions so that I can answer those questions on the Patreon stuff where it's not going to be an issue here. So if anybody has any questions, comments, feedback, or anything about this, go ahead and let me know. Uh, obviously because of the, the topic that we've been talking about, public comments are welcome. Just be careful what you put. Uh, if you have something borderline, go ahead and send an email with questions or comments. It's just a little bit better option right now for answering those things. As always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate, uh, you know, people sticking around even after we were AWOL for a year. And I'm just really hoping that these kind of videos have been helping people out. I'm getting a lot of positive emails from people uh, saying that, you know, a lot of this has helped them. I'm still getting other questions. I know that there are some videos that I've done originally over a year and a half ago that are probably going to need to be updated soon because some things have changed over the last two years. So I'll slowly work on those. I've got some other stuff I need to put out there first though, but yeah, just go ahead and let me know what you think. Thanks.